Hey everybody, it is Kate here, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Through the Veil. Happy Monday evening, because I could not for the life of me get this up on time yesterday. Oopsie. Um, so just letting y'all know that videos may or may not be a little bit sporadic for the next month or so. I'm working on a few certifications and of course I got my internship and just all of that so if there's not a video here or there I do apologize it's just something came up and I can't get it up but hopefully that will just be for this month um, but I'm gonna do my best to try and not let that happen um, so yeah um, Anyway, uh, before we jump into this, I actually have some good news that I got today. Um, I made the dance list for this last semester, which was awesome because I know that my I like lost my 4.0 that I had for all of one semester. Um, but I thought, oh, okay, well, you know, lost it, right? No, I keep forgetting that. Well, I keep forgetting I was only told the one time, right? But uh, it's a 3.5 or higher. I'm sorry, that's my mom. Um, so, yeah. I made it this semester. So, yeah. Um, pretty exciting. Pretty happy with that. Uh, so, my GPA is a 3.5 or higher, which I'm perfectly fine with. But, yeah. So, a little bit of good news for our Monday. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's jump on in. Let's see what the Nims and the Westfalls have going on. The following evening arrived with the Westfalls waiting, tense and impatient for the Nims' arrival. When they arrived, the atmosphere was no better. Tension danced and twirled through the air. Each one of the four knowing what was ahead, but not knowing how to navigate it. But a plan was a plan. Drinks were, of course, customary, and would hopefully ease everyone's apprehensions just a little bit. Normally, the two couples would converse and dine, discussing the Nim's son, Tyr, or the West Falls Bar in Glimmerbrook, business and pleasure, anything except for the Westfall's estranged daughter, Electra. Sometimes they would talk of the council, but only when necessary. Tonight, there was no light conversation, only tense, lingering silence as each one of them wondered what the future days would bring. Drinks complete, everyone went down to the Westfall Sanctum which was plush, comfortable, and filled with mystical artifacts of all kinds. It was time to get down to business. Felicity Fate has been tormenting Sims and Wolves alike, Ezekiel began gravely. Other casters as well. The vampires have not yet said anything, and of course the merfolk keep to themselves, so I have not been able to confirm with either of those parties. If she's such a problem, then why hasn't the council done anything yet? Or the sages, Evendal questioned. They can do far better and far more than we can. The council is secretly terrified of the fates, and they are intent on sending the letters to save face. She ignores their summons, and they won't force her hand. As for the sages, uh, no one has seen anything of them in some time, so they will not be of any help as of now, Ezekiel scowled. If anything is to be done, I fear it is just us. Meanwhile, the women were having a similar conversation in an adjacent room. Must we intervene? This faint woman. It's not as if the world is burning. Well, in large amounts at least. Tiana giggled nervously, sprinkling, 
Spranking. Okay. Sprinkling dried herbs into the bubbling cauldron under Amir's watchful eye. Amir glared at the foul-smelling liquid. If we don't, she began. Who will? The balance is tipping. We've looked for answers, and all roads lead to her. The Fate family is one of only a few factors that can tip the balance in such a way. Other beings, well, gods, powerful beings, uh, deaths, powerful magic cast, it's, it, it's all cryptic. All right. Tiana was worried. <clears throat> and the plan is... Capture her? Imprison her? Kill her? The lady's eyes met over the heat and smoke, and Tiana's concerns rose. This plan is foolish, Ezekiel, Evendal grunted. Extend your arm more. In case of a misfire, then you won't blow your face up. Ezekiel instructed. Evendal adjusted his stance and tried again. When Ezekiel had first began tutoring him, he had disliked the lessons. But over time, Ezekiel had proven himself to be a good instructor, and Evendal trusted his judgment. Why you? Surely I can be a better vessel, given what I've overcome in the past, and I am younger than you. More sturdy, even. Ezekiel is going to do what? Tiana's voice was hushed. Amira. It's the best option that we could find on such short notice. But the, the council or... Amira, just... The council will not help. The mate sages are nowhere to be found. Mages. I almost said mages. It's either continue to let her meddle with whatever she is meddling with, or we do something. And over the test of time, it is always the evil twin that does the dastardly deeds that end in calamity. I will be the vessel, not anyone else. On this, Ezekiel was firm as he showed Evendal a new technique. No one else will be at risk. You have a son who needs you, and a wife. I am older, and have been a caster for far longer. I will not allow anyone else to do it. Bullshit. You have a wife and a daughter too, Ezekiel. I have spoken with Amira, and she agrees with my plan. As for my daughter, she made her choice years ago. Electra had run away from the family years ago. The old wound festered and ached, but it was not as gaping as it had once been. I will not allow your so I will not allow you to put yourself at risk, Evendal. Given what you have gone through, you may be an unsuitable vessel, and that would mean certain death. Light grew at Evendal's fingertips. Pure, unbridled power rose with his emotions. No. You don't get to decide that, Ezekiel. We both have a lot to lose. But just because you are the leader of this coven doesn't mean you get to make a decision as monumental as this. Evendal had been the one touched by the old powers of the jungle, not Ezekiel. He had survived being filled with that force for a few minutes. Not Ezekiel. He had only grown stronger since then. Evendal. The blast of magic was barely blocked by Ezekiel, but he caught it just in time. No, Westfall. We'll duel, and I will win, and then I will do this special shit. Not you. So be it. <clears throat> Westfall grunted as the next spell hit him in the chest, lightning arcing all over his body. It had been a long while since he had dueled, and Nim was a strong opponent. 
an opponent who had only grown stronger and more competent with tutelage and time. As his friend and mentor, it made Ezekiel proud to see him deflect the oncoming blast with ease. His shield was good and sturdy, nary a crack in that defense. If this didn't work, he trusted Avondal would be strong enough to keep their coven safe. A stream of fire met a thread of lightning, and the two forces clashed horribly, neither quite able to overtake the other. Amira came out for a moment, sighing once. Evandal didn't take to the idea well, it would appear. Are you two duking it out to see who will be the bigger idiot? Evandal managed to utilize the string of magic and sent Ezekiel's magic cascading back towards him. <sighs> yes, Amira. Although the entire idea seems like a bad idea, he stared as Ezekiel faltered. Well, I know you and Tiana went to the magic realm. Did you find anything better? Amira gave him a look when he was silent. No, I thought not. Evandal, if there was a better way, we would be doing that. Evandal began to cast another spell, was, but was caught wholly off guard by a ball of lightning throwing him off kilter, and an impossible grip of magic hidden within that arcing energy. Evandal, Ezekiel began, twirling his student through the air. One of these days you will learn not to underestimate your opponent and never try to have a conversation while dueling. Amir cheered her husband on. Go, honey, go! You tell them, young whippersnappers. Hmm. Don't worry, Evendal. Even Electra had to learn that lesson the hard way. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Every muscle in his body hurt. I want a rematch. No. Your rule was we would duel, and who won would be the vessel. I take the prize. Westfall was once again firm. It's a shitty prize. But Evendal couldn't argue against him. It was, after all, his rule. I don't disagree. The two shook on it. So, what's next? What was next was a seance, led by Amira, one that would bridge the gap between the world of the living and the world of the dead, and all the spaces in between. They sought the eyes of time, peering into Felicity's recent activities, the spikes of magical energy, and the balance tipping precariously on the edge of an endless abyss and the veil that hung in the balance. It was clear she was doing something. It was a resurrection spell. She was trying to reclaim a soul that was not hers to rest back. Why? Every attempt she made, the balance reacted. It was like a tug of war and the backlash was imminent. The chaos was just beginning, and, well, the more she tried, the more the backlash grew. She needed to stop. If she stopped doing it, then things could relax, but the trouble was, she clearly wasn't going to. But if she was removed then that would resolve any problems. The dead spoke to the four, and all that was left was to gather ingredients, do the ritual, and a duel would commence. Rare artifacts, powerful carved gems, a willing vassal, and four conduits to summon the force to said vessel. It was a plan. It was a terrible plan. But Amira figured it would work out all right. Evendal, Evendal wasn't too sure, but he agreed to help. 
The coven would reconvene in two days for the ritual under a full moon, and the duel would be the day after. Nothing could go wrong. Right? What's that, uh, song? <laughs> what, what's the meme sound? And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, look, it all went wrong. <laughs> that just was going through my head. Well, hey, at the very least, we know that Westfall, <laughs> Westfall, uh, Ezekiel survives <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, But, yeah. So, that is it for today's little story segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having fun doing this uh, whole little side quest as it really is. Uh, this was not originally in my plans, as y'all know. Felicity was not supposed to lose. It was supposed to be a fun little thing. She was just going to go do it. And I don't know, I was taking pictures just because it was fun. And then she freaking lost. And I went, you did what now? And I realized I could have fun with this. And I am. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, this actually scripting this uh actually helped with my burnout which was fun so yeah i don't know i just i'm really proud of like the west falls and the lore and things that i'm slowly but surely building and i really love their sanctum and their house like i've spent a lot of time on it and i am really proud of it um you know and it's just fun so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying it little bits and pieces and everything and actually I think I might be done with the mod testing because as I was because my issue has been where does it fit in with my lore and whatnot right like the lore I am currently building and so on and so forth and I realized something I had another little nugget actually as I was reading over the script and I've been recording this so I don't know, I might do this next week, might be one more like mod test, but then after that we're going back to the Through the Veil for the Through the Veil save for gameplay as well. So I'm going to open this up. Um, What, like, is there a particular cult y'all want to see? Do y'all want to see um, me play a household in a particular world or like give me some sim ideas or something because I still have a lot of sims that I need to get through um in most of the worlds at this point um so yeah if there's like particular gameplay 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 a particular cult um a world or whatever like let me know um yeah so I'm excited. I am excited to see where things are going. Um, I'm thinking, so we're going to have probably one more, one more of these episodes and then we will be caught up, so to speak, and see what becomes of Felicity after that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the side quest. That being said, uh, oh my god, we're at 20 minutes. Where did the time go? Apparently this one was a long one. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> sorry, it's also a little bit late. I meant to get this out at 6.30 and it is 6.41, but I called my mom back and I had dinner. So, I'm apologizing, but also I'm not really sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good one and have a great week. Bye!